We must be getting closer to the swamp. The ground is very muddy. Let's not walk too fast, so we won't slip. <laughs> what is it, Hero? You don't have to walk that slow. Come on, guys, let's go. Leo, the pygmy hippo is slowly sinking. She is stuck in quicksand. Don't get too close. Otherwise, you'll also get stuck in the quicksand. When trapped in quicksand, it's best to keep calm and stop struggling. Oh, no! Keep calm? What can we do to keep her calm? The pygmy hippo. Everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Is it hot for you? <coughs> hmm, it is quite warm today. Why don't you have a swim in the pond? <laughs> That's much better, right, Hero? Whoa! Hey, is that a hippo? But I thought hippos were bigger. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little hippo. Katie, are you there? I just sent you a photo of an animal that was swimming in the pond. I think it's a hippo. Hi, Leo. I received the photo. It sure does look like a hippo. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great, I'm coming up. Hero, you stay right here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the animal. Here we go. This animal is a pygmy hippo. A pygmy hippo? Yes, a pygmy hippopotamus. It's the smaller cousin of the common hippo. So that's why it doesn't look so big. Correct. The pygmy hippo is twice as small as the common hippo. The pygmy hippo you found is a young female, so she will still grow only a little bit. Where does the pygmy hippo come from? You can find pygmy hippos in the forests and swamps of West Africa. As you have noticed, they like to spend most of their time in the water to cool down. When they leave the water, they'll look for food. Pygmy hippos are herbivores. They eat plants and fruits. I think the pond in our garden is too small for a pygmy hippo. We should bring her back to her home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a female pygmy hippo. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We want to bring her back to her home. That's great, Leo. But be careful. Though the pygmy hippo isn't as aggressive as its larger cousin, the common hippo, the pygmy hippo has big teeth called tusks. Normally, the pygmy hippo is a shy creature. But if you enter its home, it might use those big teeth to defend itself. We'll make sure we remember that, Ranger Rocky. Unfortunately, pygmy hippos are endangered, which means they might disappear forever. One of the reasons is the disappearing of their homes, the forests. 
Another reason is they are hunted by humans for their meat. Oh, no! That's so sad! So, where can we find its home? The pygmy hippo likes to live in swamps. A swamp is a forest where the ground is mostly covered with water. A swamp is usually found along large rivers or near lakes. The pygmy hippo is a semi-aquatic animal. That means it lives on both land and in water. It's also a nocturnal animal. So they sleep during the day, and during the night they will look for food. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, you, Ranger Rocky! Let's see what we can find. Here's a spot with trees. And on this side are trees with a lot of water. It must be a swamp. Do you know where we should go? Over there are trees. And over there is a swamp. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go to a swamp because the pygmy hippo likes to live on both land and in water. Let's go. We must be getting closer to the swamp. The ground is very muddy. Let's not walk too fast, so we won't slip. <laughs> what is it, Hero? You don't have to walk that slow. Come on, guys, let's go. Leo, the pygmy hippo is slowly sinking. She's stuck in quicksand. Don't get too close, otherwise you'll also get stuck in the quicksand. When trapped in quicksand, it's best to keep calm and stop struggling. Oh no! Keep calm? What can we do to keep her calm? Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Welcome to the game show on everyone's lips. It's time for Where, Where in the world? world? In this game, three lucky contestants will have to answer questions on the world. Get it right, and they will win an all expense paid trip to Triangle Aliens Planet. Joining us today are our mistress of melody, Cherry. Friendly fixer upper, Fluffy. Today's first topic is mystery country. Whoever solves the question will be one step closer to our grand prize. But not to worry, because everyone gets to walk away with loads of fun today. So if everyone is ready, where in the world is this? Your first clue is this festive carnival where everyone gets to dress up in colorful costumes and fancy masks. It's called in places like America and Italy. Good try, but that's not the answer. Your second clue is popular puffed pastry called a croissant. Its name means crescent because of its crescent shape. It was originally from Austria, but the queen loved it so much, she brought it home and made it more popular than ever. Cherry, you are correct. Today's mystery country is France! Congratulations, Terry! Yeah! Well, that was our show. So much to see and so much to learn. Come back and find out more at Where, Where in the World! Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Hmm, I still can't tell what this picture is supposed to be. What do you think, Billy? I'm not sure either, Paula. Chucky and Cat think it's a house. Let's join the rest of the dots so we can find out what it really is. How many dots are left? I'm not sure, Tim, but the numbers can help us count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And look, it's a sandcastle. We should go and build a real sandcastle right now, somewhere with lots of sand. And not too near water, so our sandcastle doesn't get washed away. Where do we find this perfect place? We can ask the supercomputer. Let's scan the sandcastle picture. Now we run the numbers to find the best spot to build one.
It's Treasure Island. The X must be the perfect place for our sandcastle. That's right, Tim. Grab the spades and buckets, everyone. Let's go to Treasure Island to build our sandcastle. Okay, everyone. Let's look for the X and start building our sandcastle there. I see it. The X is over there. Yay, we found it! Let's see. There's lots of sand here. The water's not that near to us. This really is the perfect spot. Come on, guys. We're gonna make the best sandcastle ever! Our sandcastle is looking really good. Yar! Stop what you're doing right now. You pesky children are in my way. It's Captain Redbeard. Hi, guys. The captain needs to dig for his treasure here. Yeah. According to my map, there's supposed to be an X right here. This is where my treasure is buried. Now go away so I can dig up my treasure. But we're not done building our sandcastle yet. Yeah, we were here first. Oh, you were here first, huh? Okay, then. I'll just walk away. Goodbye, guys. I'm going to destroy your sandcastle. Come on, Maurice. Okay, first matey. Once I give the signal, launch the coconuts at the sandcastle so the children will leave. Aye, aye, Captain. And... Fire! <laughs> You're not hitting it first, matey. I'm sorry, Captain. What are Redbeard and Maurice doing over there? I'm not sure, Tim. Maybe they're playing some sort of coconut game. Yar! Aim better! Aye, aye, Captain. Oh! Ouch! Sorry, Captain. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, this isn't working. Let's just try something else. to put more sand over here, Paula. Here, you can use this, Billy. Hello, I'm a pretty magical mermaid. Leave your sandcastle and come play with me. We're not leaving this spot. We know it's you, Mermaid Maurice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, hi, guys. Come take a break from building your sandcastle and party with me. I got some coconut drinks with tiny umbrellas. What are you doing, Maurice? I'm just following the captain's orders to lure you away from your sandcastle. Is it working? Nope. We're definitely not leaving our sandcastle until we finish it. <sighs> okay. I'll go tell the captain. Guys, we're never going to finish this awesome sandcastle if Redbeard keeps disturbing us. Let's make Redbeard think that his treasure is somewhere else. I'll go mark the X over there. Great idea, Paula. Yar! I'm back to dig up my treasure. Move your sandcastle. Redbeard, your treasure isn't here. It's over there. Hey, it is. Yar! X marks the spot of my treasure. First, matey, start digging here. Aye, aye, Captain. There's no treasure here. Those children tricked me. Maurice, we have to trick them back. Well, how are we going to do that, Captain? Build another sandcastle somewhere else and make sure it looks exactly the same as theirs. That'll trick them into thinking that their sandcastle is not at that spot. Uh, hi, guys. I, uh... I think your sandcastle is over there. That thing doesn't look like our sandcastle at all. 
This is our sand castle. Maurice, please tell Captain Redbeard to stop disturbing us. We came here first. Yar! Any place that has buried treasure belongs to me. I'm not leaving until I get my treasure. It's mine, you hear me? All mine! Fine. Let's not fight, Redbeard. Why don't you dig around the sandcastle and see if you can get your treasure? But don't touch our sandcastle! Yeah, fine. And you children, don't touch my treasure. Come on, first matey. Start digging. Arr, did you find any treasure, first matey? Sorry, Captain. I didn't find anything. Me too. <sighs> Guys, Redbeard dug a swimming pool for our sand castle. Actually, it's called a moat. It should have a bridge over it, too. A moat? Cool! Cal, could you get us some water for the moat? And we can use this plank of wood as a bridge over our moat. Our sand castle is now complete! <sighs> Captain Redbeard looks really upset. Maybe we should help him find his treasure, Paula. You're right, Billy. Redbeard did help us build this awesome moat. Calc, can you look for a treasure chest under our sandcastle without destroying it? Wow! Cal managed to find the treasure chest. Good job, Cal. Yeah! Finally! I can't wait to see how much gold there is inside. Ah! Huh? There's only this lousy sand castle. Yar! Wow! This is a really cool sand castle, too. We should build a real one just like it. Not again! <laughs> <laughs> The Ten sand castles. Ten treasure chests. chests. We must be getting closer to the swamp. The ground is very muddy. Let's not walk too fast, so we won't slip. <laughs> what is it, Hero? You don't have to walk that slow. Come on, guys, let's go. Leo, the pygmy hippo is slowly sinking. She is stuck in quicksand. Don't get too close, otherwise you'll also get stuck in the quicksand. When trapped in quicksand, it's best to keep calm and stop struggling. Oh no! Keep calm? What can we do to keep her calm? Good idea, Hero. Maybe some leaves to eat will distract her. Here, Hippo. Please. Please try to be calm. It's not working. We need to pull her out. But how can we do that? Do you think we can pull the pygmy hippo out with the jeep? Yes, it might work if we use the jeep. We'll also need this rope. Good thinking, Leo. The jeep is here. Okay, pygmy hippo. It's very important that you grab this rope. Catch! Good job, hippo. Now hold on tight. Katie, I think she understands what we're trying to do. It's your turn. Now, very slowly. 
It's working! The pygmy hippo is out! Yay! Yay! What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Remember, pygmy hippos usually prefer to live alone. So, if you want to find a home for the pygmy hippo, just look for an empty spot in a swamp. Not for a gas pump or a camel's hump, but look for an empty spot in a swamp. I see. So not for a gas pump or a camel's hump, but, but look, look for, for an, an empty, empty spot, spot in, in the a swamp. swamp. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find a home for the pygmy hippo, you have to look for an empty spot in the swamp. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be an empty swamp. Is that an empty swamp? No, it's not. Those are crocodiles. So let's look somewhere else. What are those? They are also pygmy hippos. Maybe it's a mother and her baby. I think they prefer to be left alone. So let's continue. So, is this an empty swamp? Yes, it is an empty swamp. Good work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found an empty spot in the swamp for the pygmy hippo. Hooray! Yay! found a pygmy hippo in our garden. We learned that a pygmy hippo lives on both land and in the water. So we went to the forest and found her an empty spot in the swamp. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. <laughs>